Hello everybody Hello. and welcome to today's Planet Zoo live stream. How are you all? I hope you're doing well. Today I am joined by the wonderful Head of Animation, Nick Rogers. Hello. Hello, everyone. How are you? I'm very well indeed. Very much looking forward to playing Planet Zoo. You've been on. You've been on a lot of streams, but I think this is our first one together. I think it is. Yeah, yeah. And I have been writing the streaming schedule for a very long time since since I started here, and I've always put you on with Stegs. Yeah. This time I was like, not this time. Not this time. This no. time it's going to be me and Nick. I'm well, looking forward to it. I hope it's worth it. <laughs> it's going to be a really fun stream. Uh, I don't know if you've heard the news. I hope you have about update 1.1.0 going out on the 17th of December. So next Tuesday. Um, I hope you've heard all about it because it's shaping up to be absolutely brilliant. I think the team have done a wonderful job with it. I'll give you a quick rundown of what's to come. Um, we've got the slow animal aging. So we will have a slider in game now. Uh, so that you can change how fast your animals age, or rather how slow. I think it's uh, up to five times slower than normal, which mm. I think is brilliant. I know we had a lot of feedback on the time of the animals aging, so I think that'll be really useful for people that are interested in that sort of thing. Nice ears, Bo, says Jester. Oh, nice. I yeah, think thank yours you really much. suit you, you know? Well, that th that's all down to Bo. She, <laughs> she, she just threw them. them on as I was on the way in. I think she made the right call. I, I like them a lot. They really, they really go with your outfit. Well, yeah, it really sets the whole thing off. <laughs> That's good. We've got the immediate family um, on the animal information panels. So you have their parents, their siblings, and their direct descendants. So that's, I think that's really cool. Animal pack behavior, new heat maps, um, improved social behaviors, a news feed now on the um, homepage. Wrong mouse, I do all the time. Uh, management updates, uh, the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights in game. Hello, everyone, the Northern Lights. That's pretty That'll yeah. be brilliant. Only yeah, shout available. out to the render team. That's I know, a, they that's are amazing. beautiful. I'm stepping yeah. on my mic. They are absolutely Good. beautiful. Uh, ice cream costume, I think, if you are into avatars, uh, that'll be brilliant. And more creativity, so. Oh. I think it's, I, oh, great cool Bose's crummy crumble about your, um, your wonderful ears. Oh, thank you. But I think I think it's going to be absolutely brilliant. That is a free update to all players uh, happening next Tuesday. So wonderful. But today we are focusing on a workshop wonderland that will be all about the I don't the snow frozen snow, this cold. time of year. Yeah, the cold. So we're going to kick it festive off. Festive times. Here we are. <gasps> this is not it. <laughs> That's not it at all. It's Where not, is it? It's not festive. I don't. It's in here. Don't worry. I'll be ready for when. when we you can do go so. to Hey, here. here we go. But it's not. I don't know if it's in here. <gasps> Let's go to here. <laughs> okay. So here is the um, Christmas at the Zoo Bakery by Rohana. So this I think is really cool. Missy Good, wonderful brand. It's beautiful. I mean, as as always, they've outdone themselves. We thought I'm a bit worried about the amount of smoke coming out of there. It's maybe there's a fire, <laughs> but it's yeah, it's a it's a gorgeous bit of kit. It's making me very hungry. It's a good time of year for biscuits. Uh, I um I think it's looking quite delicious. Yep. Um, oh, we have a question. I play in the lowest settings. Will there be a version of the Northern Lights for us? The Northern Lights are only available for ultra high settings. The or reason high is high ultra is we high, put there. high ultra yeah, graphic even higher settings. Than ultra. The reason for that is because once you see them, you will understand why they are quite. I mean, they are beautiful. They are absolutely yeah. beautiful. You'll you'll understand why. Yeah. They're pretty spectacular. So cozy looking. OMG, hello, this is Dino Games. Uh, Dino Games, did you receive our email? Um, oh. To you about the code. I know you sent a couple of emails. I know I get I get a lot of emails. <laughs> <laughs> you sent um, you sent a couple of emails. Uh, so we're gonna we've sent we've sent you a response. They're adding Northern Lights in the game. Yes, Too we right, are. Too they are. And they're gonna look fantastic. Update one point one point zero. Free update coming out on the seventeenth of December. So next Tuesday. And you're gonna I get can't a believe. As well. I can't believe we're, it's it's. Almost end of the year. This, this year is absolutely shot past. I can't believe that the game's already out and that we're already <laughs> on to an update. <laughs> I know, it's, it's, it's pretty wild. I've just flown the camera. Where did I even go? Where what did, did you I go? even do? Who knows? I was overtaken by the biscuit business. I'm going to have a look at the camera because I feel like it's not the same in that FaceTime. So I'm going to have I'm going to have a look yeah, let's at have this because we're here. Hey, we're back. But we're not. The game is like. Oh, there must be one set up to. I don't know where the game is. We might, let's restart the stream. Okay. I'm going to stop streaming and come straight back. Okay. All right. Give us okay. a couple of minutes. Um, I believe it's resolved. Uh, no, if, if it is, let us know. I think, it's, I think it's all fixed. 
I'm uh, glad to be back. It was not the same without talking directly to you all. So I wanted, I wanted us to be here. Um, so yes, this is the Christmas at the Zoo Bakery. Um, I think it's great. You were right about the smoke though. The more I stare at it, the more I think... Yeah, what's going on in there? It could be quite know. damaging to the environment. Yeah. Oh, I've just noticed my kids are saying hi. So I'm gonna say hi to them. Hi kids. <laughs> they are huge fans of Planet, Co uh, Planet Zoo, and, in fact. And, I'm gonna and, say coaster. <laughs> and Planet Coaster, obviously. But Planet Zoo they like in particular on account of the animals. Yes, I think that's fair. Yeah. I think no. it's fair. It's a bit more chilled out than Jurassic. No, we did pause the stream because we weren't, there was no face cam and we've resolved it now. So Very we're all important. back, ready to go. Let's move on to the next build, diddle, 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 which, which is, is over this the way. Christmas snow leopard habitat, oh. also by Rohanna. This is actually part of a series. Ooh, look at this. So I a little think. bit of promotion art there. <laughs> Lovely. I really so like this it. Is, I really style. like the Christmas sort of stuff that they've got oh, going It on. is lovely. Rohanna's a wonderful builder. It is builder. lovely. It's, it's wonderful that we've got all these different biomes that we can put this sort of stuff into. I do love the snow in this game. Where are the snow leopards? No, because it will take too long to put all the animals uh, in. No, that yeah. So and we'd have to build a whole zoo every time we do a workshop Wonderland. By the time we get on here, so yeah, it's for the best. <laughs> Games of Tom's as well. Wow, this is incredible. I Again, agree. absolutely gorgeous. Just more smoke <laughs> billowing out. <laughs> into the sky but yeah you know, it's quite um there's any time of year to do it it's now yeah it's they are these are some smoky builds oh they're lovely oh is that santa down there oh, hello i think i think we've got a custom santa model <laughs> look i'm at zooming well, look in at i'm that. going in look at this i'm going oh, in. oh look he's even got a little dog snow leopard could be anything just jumping <laughs> morning santa there i like there. this toy and he's made a little oh it's little toy. A little duck as well i'm not sure if the toy signifies something I don't know. Maybe it's a clue. A clue. <laughs> Maybe it's a clue. If Maybe we, he's you, in the zoo. If you look at oh, the full series, oh, <laughs> if you look yeah. at the full series, maybe they've all got Easter eggs. Oh. Maybe they oh, all have may a toy. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Are there any more? We should. Is we it should, just those two? We should find out more. No, put these two. Oh, there's, oh. there's another one. There's another one climbing. We've been missing out so much. <laughs> yeah. I know. We, yeah, I know we have to get a move on, but no, look at all these Santas. Look at these guys. Very so dangerous, those three. What's Santa's it... name? Nick, Nick, Nick. I don't know. What's his last name? Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. For some reason I was going to say Klaus, but that's Klaus. not right. It is Claus. Should be Claus. Santa Claus. Yes. But that's not, it's not, it's not Nicholas Claus. I it? don't know why I'm struggling so much with this. You, you've blown my mind. There's too many names for him. <laughs> I don't know what Santa's real name it's is. Santa, no, I just wonder, can, can they get out? Help us in the chat. Is he escaping? I don't know. Maybe they're the on chat. a mission. Maybe to escape to, the to zoo. To get into this to snow escape, leopard yeah. habitat. <laughs> Quite rightly. Hello, Geekism. I saw the lady as well. Hello. Oh, hello. Elizabeth Wingardium Levicosa, Megan Eco, Josh Rhyme. We've got a bunch of people. Diddle, love that name. Tommy, Jim, Valentin. Oh, Kringle. Hello, we're rhyming. That, that's, the, that's the surname, Kringle. Chris Kringle. That's not Santa's Is another name, <laughs> Santa's name. Christopher Kringle. <laughs> I uh, got Dino Games, so I mentioned Ella. Poison Blade, hello, Poison Blade. We have Ella, we have Leon, Lorenzo, of course, 8 bit Josh, we have Ver Veronique. Veronique? Veronique? Very nice. They've got an accent on the ear like me, Veronique. Mm. Veronique. I think that's. I don't know. That was, that was something, the way yeah. that you said it just then. <laughs> got Games well. for Tom. Uh, Jonathan. Oh, hello. Johnny Bygrave. Animator from the original Planet Coaster. Oh, Oscar. He's coming in there. Yep. Oscar, um, hello everyone. I hope you're all doing very well. Uh, let us know if there's any problems with the um, stream. Captain Kerfuffle, hello. Um, but if you missed the beginning, update 1.1.0, MMG. What are our thoughts on it? Are you excited to see it? I, um, I think the Aurora Borealis is something very special. But we have a bunch of stuff in there. We've got new um, heat maps, improved social behaviours and newsfeed. If you haven't uh, read the post, you can check it out in the forums. Animal pack behaviour. Animal that's, pack behaviour. That's going to be pretty cool. That well, always Luke Brisson, hello. Hello, Luke. has popped in. Say, Johnny. That's nice. Hello. Nobody has told us what Santa's real name is. I don't think anyone knows. Nobody knows. Maybe we, we should just make it Philippe, up. hello. Right, I, I love was this just one. admiring this new one. I think it's this, not without on, its own smoke. I've moved on to the next one. That's okay. So this is the habitat tiger of Siberia, underground uh, observatory included. Ooh, that's, well we've got to pop in there. Ooh, just like a real zoo, you cannot see the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> it is nowhere to be found. You came all this way. Yeah, when you we went to um, when we went to San Diego Zoo, there was there was. 
You went to San Diego Zoo? Yeah, with the that team. That's really good. But the team is wonderful. Oh, it's Nicholas amazing. Claus because he's Saint Nick. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll take that. You fool. Yeah, that, of course. <laughs> Why didn't I know that? Well, as soon as I asked it again, everyone was all over it. Everyone was like, it's it's Nicholas, of course. But the first time, no responses. Yeah. Why was that, you know? Oh, thank you very much, Tommy. We did do a good <laughs> job on Jurassic World. <laughs> Hi, Jigglesaurus. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Well, this, is, this is, again, it's lovely. I like this one because it feels like it, it would just be yes. in the normal zoo. So I, I do like the very I realistic really like... ones as well because they're very well observed. Clearly spent a lot of time thinking about this habitat Love and where people are going to stand. So, yeah, it's gorgeous, lovely fauna. Hi, Megan. Um, yeah, I really like I really like this one. I was going to say, like you said, when I went to San Diego Zoo and we went to look at all the habitats, tigers, I would have to have seen them. You know? Yeah, no, they could have been anywhere. They could have been anywhere. They just had a picture of a tiger. Yeah. There are actually no tigers when in you zoos. See the, um, <laughs> when you see the facts or see any, the any picture you see, they just have the habitat. If they did have a tiger, that's where it would oh, go. Yeah, it's a big but they, they don't actually have a tiger. Look at this stinky old pumpkin. It's left over from Halloween. I've never had pumpkin. No one's coming back for that. Have you never eaten pumpkin? No. No, you have it in a pie. It's very nice. Actually, I have had pumpkin. <laughs> now that you said I have oh, it in no, a pie, okay, no, I feel you like I had it in a pie recently. But no, like, you should remember. have it in a pie. I think I did. It's that was really the first good. time I had it. Sonic the Hedgehog was always famously a huge fan of pumpkin pie. Was he? Yeah. In one of the many laws of uh, one Sonic of the, the many Hedgehog. Laws. Yeah. Wait, is this, is this an dogs. ongoing? Yeah, yeah. So this was like a law it's... that was ongoing. This wasn't like one in the cartoon. No, one there episode. was a separate law. There's one for the cartoon, <laughs> there's one for the comic books, one for the game. And it was in, a, one, deep, in one episode, there was one line when he said, one is just like, I'd have pumpkin I, I pie, really like and that it. was I think it. His grandma used to make it. I think she was also a hedgehog. I can't remember if she was fast <laughs> or not. I would assume. But she made. She did a lot of baked goods. And uh, yeah, pumpkin pie was among them. Interesting. Yes. Is that is that true? Chili dogs. There you go. Luke knows. <laughs> All of that was true. All of that was true. I don't. Know. Roasted pumpkin is amazing. Says Eagle Grins. Hello, Eagle. No, it is. It's delicious. We're one of the few countries that just chucks the pumpkin in the bin when we scrape it we out. Like carve we should it really make more of that. It's like nah. no one's ever going to need this delicious food. <laughs> Throw that in the bin. I really like this one. I'm a big fan of no, trees. I, yeah, I love it. I think it looks great. It looks straight out of the zoo. Really well thought Very out of. Realistic. And I'd love to put some tigers in there. Maybe a couple of other things. Who knows? Like what? Things that tigers like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkins. Shall I move on? Yes, please do. This is Tell me if I'm one. rushing. I, I don't know if you've gone... Is it, have you gone I, to, did you go past one? Or did you go straight over? I, I think I went straight over. So this was the one we just looked at. Yeah, you're right. You're and right. we're going to come over here. I'm being silly. It's called Habitat 3. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like how your giraffe is moved when you do, Nick. Says, Tarani, hello. Thank you very much. They've become very much part of me now. I don't think I'm going to take them off. I couldn't find my ears before the stream started, so I pressed to do the five-minute countdown, and then I had to run. I had to run down three flights of stairs to the other streaming room and rummage to find these ears. And then I ran all the way up, and then there was about a minute and a half left. Uh, lovely Nick was talking to me and I couldn't breathe. No, <laughs> I you had to do a lovely run around the office. <laughs> it's good for you, I'm telling you. Well, I, I didn't, it didn't this? feel good for me, you know? No. It no, didn't. exercise doesn't. <laughs> it's uh, it sticks to video games. Yes, it's, that's what I say. Uh, and now we've got some stinky watermelon in this so one. I think it's in a nice cube. this is cute. the habitat for grizzly bear. Oh, yes. From Master 3701. So all oh, of these splendid. you can find on the Steam Workshop, of course. These are all um, uploaded on there. Um, you can check them out. So definitely. And this is why we tell you the name and we tell you uh, the name of the creator so that you can go and check them out and download them for yourself. There's a whole bunch of enrichment in here as well that I like. Uh, who's meant to live in here, does it say? The grizzly bear. The grizzly bear. The grizzly bear, yeah, they're known for playing for the wind percussion. <laughs> uh, and rolling these things around. This is when the bears, they get together and they have a tombola. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Bingo night. Amongst the animals, they have a little bingo night. They spin them around. The grizzly bear keeps them out. They give away wine, <laughs> um, biscuits. Anything That's interesting. Else? I didn't yeah. know that. No, that is that is true. About, about grizzly um, bears. We did a lot of research before starting the game, I see. and that's one of the things we picked up from Ch this? Chester Zoo, in fact. <laughs> First zoo that we went to when we started the game. Some tombola. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. interesting, actually. Yeah. We found out that uh, Robin on our team is petrified of bats. Robin? As in... Terrified of bats. Robin the product manager? Or yes, Robin, Robin the product manager. Is terrified of bats? Is terrified of bats. I need to use so, this information. Exactly. The next if time you ever I need to her. take out Robin, 
<laughs> just present her with a bat. I just bat. need some bats. Yeah, get a load of bats. She'll See what happens. Yep. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Oh, it's a tree scatter feeder, of course. Tom Bowler. Yes. Hello, Joel. Josh says, love your animations. Well, thank you very much. Well, we had a fantastic team on this, obviously headed up by a... Mr. Christopher Marsh, who did a wonderful job with his team, and they, they all did beautiful animations for the whole of the game, and it was a, a, a wonderful sight to behold. And uh, <laughs> I, I like just watching the animals. Hang on, Games for Tom says, by the way, by the way, says Games for Tom, I love gorillas playing with the little piano enrichment and making the soundtrack even better. Oh, love a good yes, tune, yeah, that know? was, uh, that was uh, one of our animators, Josh, uh, did a beautiful job of the uh, of the keyboard playing animation. <laughs> and that was all based on video reference. We found this video of, of uh, Chimp just, just going to town on the uh, on the keyboard who was playing some uh, some Rachmaninoff. And uh, we took that and we, we put it straight into the game. He did a wonderful job. That's, that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Is that is that common? Yes. Is this actually common, a or is it again, you saw one video and you're like, again, we need that? Again, in in the wild, <laughs> very common to see them playing coming uh, across a piano, the piano in the in the forests in oh, the they've, jungles. They've got the hands for it. They've got the span and the feet. They do. For it, in fact, they're a huge advantage. Interesting. So when they go to, if you go to a jungle, mm -hmm. there's always a few pianos left around. Yes. Because. Primates loved them, yeah. all over them. Yep. Uh, Mozart was uh, quite jealous of the yes. skill, learnt from yep. uh, primates, as we all know. The information's out there, you've just got to go searching for it, and yeah. we did. Just go <laughs> Again, all part of the meticulous research we did for this game. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yes. Now so you've told me, this, this, I do. So the, this is what you don't hear. This is why you come on the live stream. This is behind the scenes. <laughs> you need to hear it from the experts, you know? Exactly. Um, the, so that's why we're here. The experts of animation who did so experts, much research. Uh, wildlife experts. Yeah, makes sense. So have we moved on? Yes, I have moved on. This is the habitat for a snow leopard made by the same person, Master 3701. The snow, I've noticed that all of these, they have some kind of... They always have a little stinky pumpkin or yeah, something in there. Why do they have so many stinky pumpkins? I think they're just left them there <laughs> and nobody wants them. And it's like everyone's moved on to Christmas now and no one wants these anyway. <laughs> so they're just being left outside to rot. But this is another gorgeously realistic one. I mean, this this lovely rock craft that's gone on around It's here, magical. It's beautiful. I really like the intersecting rocks. Uh, mm -hmm. Rocks with a T. Rocked. Not sure why. <laughs> yep. They're very <laughs> special, and these are these are great because uh, yeah, this must have taken a huge amount of time. And again, I do love the way that snow settles in this game. Oh, absolutely! Makes everything look a little bit delicious, like it's been frosted. Um, not you know, like someone's not just, sure just, about just, just a little bit of icing sugar on there, and you could just eat it. <laughs> I haven't had dinner yet today. I should. Point I out. see. I see why you've come to that conclusion actually, because the longer I look at this, the tastier it appears. Yeah. Yeah. So well, exactly. And now, you you're, right. now you're looking at the whole world and thinking, I want a mince pie. Have you started eating mince pies? I'm not a fan of mince pies. Really? I can't eat them. From I think about... they're quite gross. No, they're delicious. I That's think, where you're wrong. I think they're actually a zero so, out of ten. Oh no, no. <laughs> I think they're fantastic. And we start getting them in about October time, <laughs> and we go through several boxes a week between really? now and uh, yeah, but, yeah, that and cheese. But how many? So how many? in your household actually uh, eat mince pies, all of you? Uh, me and my wife eat the, the lion's share of them. Mm. I think the kids, will, it will grow on them. You know, it will just be around them so much that they'll, they'll I'm begin to I'm not sure it will. They, will. they love mince pies. <laughs> Who doesn't? It's the taste of Christmas. Ah, um, love that shelter rock work. Is it, it is, is it Tarani or Tarane? Or maybe not either of those, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna pronounce your name wrong. So please let me know. Mince pies Tarani. are delicious. Says, what did you say, Tarani? Tarani. Maybe that's it. Ella uh, says, mince pies are delicious. Mince Wrong. pies are delicious, and thank you very Tim much. We should says, put it to the Shanti, chat. No, I don't know how to feel about you anymore. Wrong. Yeah. It's all, it's all a lie. It's all a holiday lie told yeah. to you to sell mince pies because mm. no, nobody wants them for the rest of the year. I they only make them at the end of the year for a good reason, you know? Let's ask the chat. Does the chat believe <laughs> that um, miniature mince pies are better than the full size ones? Because I think they are, on account of the filling to pastry ratio. Oh. It's better. I'll I move on to so. the next one. Yeah. So what do you have at 
Christmas if you don't have mince pies? Um, other things like um, like chocolate that I can also eat. Oh, more you can have that any any round. any time of <laughs> year. Yeah, I mean, Halloween's really done with chocolate. Joel doesn't know what mince pie is. Do you want to explain oh, it? Oh, Joel, mince pies are like a paste, little tiny pastry pie with a sort of fruity filling. Uh, and there's often uh, either brandy or like cognac in there, so it's kind of like a boozy, fruity pastry. They're fantastic. Terrible. And the next time you're in the, the UK, I'm going to buy you like 50. You'll have to come at Christmas time. And you have to eat them all. Because they won't actually be available. I'm going to freeze some for you. <laughs> I will freeze them. In, uh, no, in my no, freezer. Time says, so a tart. Uh, yeah, a tart is a good excuse, but they've got, they've excuse. got, no, they've got a lid, and a tart, in my experience, doesn't have a lid. It's a pie. Hang on. So do tarts not have lids? If I if someone said here's a jam tart and it had a lid, I'd go That's a jam pie. You're out of your mind, that's a jam pie. <laughs> Why have you even given me this? Where's the mince pies? How did you get in here? How did you Those get are into sort my of house? Questions I have to say, <laughs> why have you come in with this in your hand? I don't want it. Take it away. I would prefer a jam pie yeah. to a mince pie, as long as it was strawberry jam or oh, raspberry. That no, I'm never turning my back on mince pies. I'll defend them forever. <laughs> this is there the... you go, tarts don't have lids. Thank you, Ella. <laughs> so this is the Japanese castles for Japanese m macaques. Is that... Macaques. I read macaques. something that said it was pronounced macage. And what? that definitely can't be right. I've been calling them macaques for years, and I've worked <laughs> on two separate zoo games. That can't be right. And they've all been, always been called macaques. It can't be, like... It can't be, so... No, I'm not, again, like the mince pies, I'm not changing that, not ever. But this this name is a is on Steam, it's a Chinese name, and I don't speak any Chinese. No. I don't know if you do. No, I do not. So I didn't want to attempt to pronounce its name, so what I did pronounce pronounce this name, so what I did is I Google translated it, and apparently it's, it's Elder Clam. What to do with that, I don't know, because mm. it doesn't actually tell you what oh, the elder. person's name is because it's actually still in Chinese. So is it in Chinese or Japanese? Because it's the Japanese macaques and the Japanese castles. No, I think it's Chinese. Okay, so that's Chinese, but these right, gotcha. Elder clam. Do with them what you will. That's probably not what the pronunciation of their uh, name is. Mm -hmm. So actually just do nothing with it. Because By the way, I'm admiring the beautiful architecture. We've had a lot of like really amazing, um, like Japanese, Asian style uh, inspired builds on this Steam Workshop. We've showed a few on social, and I'm blown away by them all. I love the building set that they've got. Like the Asian theme is outstanding. Yeah, no, it's gorgeous, and I love all the the lovely cherry blossoms Absolutely. all the way around. If I ever go to Japan, I definitely want to see the cherry blossoms. Have you been to season. Japan? No, Neither I have really, I. I'd really want to. to. I, I have almost gone on a couple of occasions, and for various reasons, I haven't been able to go. But one day, I'm going to go there. We are and trying I spend our like best. A month there. What we're trying to do in the in the marketing team is trying to convince people to send us, not for any particular reason, other than we just want to go. So if you could help us build a case, I think you need some animation representation. I think we could take that. Whatever event that is. I'm sure they do. Japan must have some game shows. That yeah, we they can, do. They have the, Jap yeah. the Tokyo Game Show. So if Why we, aren't we at that? If we just Why take that and that? run with it, perhaps... It. Yes, very good idea. We can make it work, you know? Very good. Very good idea. No, but this is gorgeous. Another, another absolutely wonderful part. I mean, and a lovely place for the animals to live inside of this. Hold on, what's inside? <laughs> Rather barren. Nancy says the snow looks so <laughs> realistic. It does, it does. I love the snow in this game. I absolutely love it. Oh, it's uh, amazing. And it's, I, I know it's a bit geeky, but I particularly like the occlusion of the snow, where the snow doesn't fall, where there's Shelter. cover, which is really impressive because it's a piece by piece game and we can't bake out occlusion maps in advance like you do in big pre author games. So it's really impressive from a technical point of view. And I love it. And, and shout out to, to the programmer that made that. Shout Cameron. out. Shout we should out. have a soundboard. We really should. I should be like, yeah. shout so, out. <laughs> 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 well, <there's laughs> so, um, I'd love that. Yeah. I'm going to pitch it actually. Yes. I'm going to pitch that before I pitch Japan because I think a soundboard is more achievable. I really feel like we could achieve a soundboard <laughs> probably by the end of the podcast if we put the mind to it. So, oh, if, yeah, if I Luke's agree. on the stream, come on, man, sort us out Luke, with the soundboard. Help us. We need or just to... some one of those honking horns that you get from old <laughs> <A> bicycles. <clown. laughs> That's all that we can do. 
fucking lovely. Demi says, so where are the monkeys? We where don't put the, the animals in because it would take too long to build. They'd if all, I had to build die. a whole zoo every time we did a workshop Wonderland, I'd lose like a day of work. And that's not. We should you've do gone past one, you've, you've oh, silly no. Billy. Have I? No, that's the one we just got. No, from. this. <gasps> It was such a small and delicate piece this that is, I almost missed it. <laughs> this is the hot springs, so it's in, oh, apparently it. an enrichment item for the Japanese. The Japanese. Oh, it's an enrichment item. So well, the it's Japanese. The how do you pronounce macaques. it? The macaques. I think it's a macache. I think I think it's macaque. <laughs> Let's I'm going to die on this. Again. What I'm is it? Is it macaque? Is it it's macache? <laughs> McKay. Like, Macaque. sort of like McKeish. Macaque. McKeish. Get your hands off McKeish. <laughs> Does anyone else know what a quiche is? There we go. It's me. It's me. It's the mince pie. I think, I think there is a case to be built that it's pronounced McKeish. Um, okay. So I'm going to take that. I'm and... team Macaque all the way. That's my hill to die on. I think, I think it really brings an element in. It yeah, makes it's it good. It's, you know, more... Exotic. I mean, I, 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 we had a lot of trouble with the uh, with the dinosaur pronunciations before. I, I didn't realise that we would have so much trouble with <laughs> the with the actual animals. <laughs> this is by Morzoo. A Morzoo. fitting name, um, I believe. No, I yeah. Love so it. they built this sort of hot springs. No. Bye bye, Pride of Fury. They built bye this bye. sort of hot springs that they get to. Do. <laughs> Why do you say bye bye? <laughs> It's just, just nice little life. It's like a hot spring that they can all hang out in. Yep. Like, you know, they just get to chill, have a good time. Um, yep. Like, like friends do, you know? Yeah, they do. They I mean, they frequently hang out in hot springs. Uh, they play cards and <laughs> s smoke. <laughs> just chill, you know? That's what they get up uh, to. Kick back, good times, good vibes. Truth. Yes. Um, Having, having just uh, and they, they, they argue over whether they're called macaques or macache, <laughs> and it's a bitter rivalry I that has split the primate community I down think the middle. Should, do you know what we need to do? We need to YouTube and get that Emma Says woman who has pronounced everything. Yeah. Why are you saying pronounced? And that's not how Pronunce. you say it, pronounce. Pronunciate. <laughs> um, so I think we really need to, to get on that and yeah. see how Emma says it. Because but who polices it's be, Emma? Why is she? No, she doesn't need to be policed because she created all languages. Oh, fair enough. I didn't know if she was sort of a professor of... <laughs> um, a language professor at um, every university. Yeah, well, fair enough, in which case she wins. She's you know, I mean, I went to art very college. <laughs> we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't cover that sort of thing, we just drew things. Luke is in the chat. Luke. Hello, Luke. Leopard is pronounced leopard, <laughs> like leotard. <laughs> yes. I've, Luke's Luke, quite right. Luke's a very clever I've man. I've always he knows thought that. Things. Yes. Leopard. Leopard. Like Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh. Yes. Leopard. Yes. Went with DiCaprio. Interesting. Who else is there? <laughs> da Vinci. Yes, Da Vinci. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone seen Marquise? Is it is it <laughs> is it, it Marquise? <laughs> Has anyone seen Marquise? Um, uh, that's lovely. I, I, <laughs> can we? I, I want to go back through the game and do a new character for the campaign that pronounces the Everything names of wrong. every single animal wrong. What a missed opportunity! Was, uh, the tiger. <laughs> that was a stretch. Shantae says, "Bo, bo, 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 bo." No, bo. it was not. No negativity in the chat, please. It's um... backseat driving. That's what this is. That's what this is, dude. Where is my car? Very good. Um, very good. Pronunciation is right. So Thank Mortimer. you. And I was right about the mince pies as well. Thank you very much, Mortimer, for I, backing me up on I that one. I feel like they're just saying that because you're you're a guest, um, mm. and they want you to come back. Am I a guest though? I've been here for so long, I'm just part of the furniture now. I think it's the, I think it is McCache, so... Okay, we're going to settle it. All. After this, <laughs> we, will, we will take to the internet, which obviously has the answer to everything. Has Emma. And we'll find um, out. Our true knowledge base. I, I've, yeah, Emma's going to sort all this out, and if she doesn't, we're going we're gonna to send a little email to Emma and, and correct her. Yes. I'm checking this one out because this I love the water wheel. The monkey onsen. Is that how you pronounce it? Who knows? <laughs> oh, here we go again. By Black Black Tart onsen? Yang. Like is that like Mary Kate Onsen? Oh that was Olsen. Oh. <laughs> Completely wrong. Mary Kate and Ashley. Completely wrong. Mary Kate and Ashley. And would Elizabeth. Would be Don't huge forget Elizabeth. Fans of this suit. There's another one. Elizabeth? I don't know. She's, I don't she know plays, about um, the Olsen. She plays Scarlet Witch. I thought it was the Olsen Avengers. twins. There's a third twin. No, she's not. No, she's not a twin. She's a sibling. Just a sibling. Oh wow. <laughs> not a special. Oh, if you're I, not a twin, 
bet Christmas is awkward for <laughs> Elizabeth Olsen. They're like, oh, hey, twins. Hi, <laughs> Liz. Like, you're, oh, you're here. <laughs> oh, you've joined awkward. us. Isn't that Would nice? you like a mince pie? <laughs> like, Perhaps no, a, jam, a jam pie. Would you like a jam, <laughs> would you like a jam pie? <laughs> what? I mean, oh, Diddle. Diddle works with Macaches. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, I bet you don't. I bet you work with macaques. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Elizabeth, says, stop, stop saying my name. Right, we need to be um, quite silent. Sorry, Elizabeth. We, we won't do it again. Sorry, sorry Elizabeth. <laughs> oh, we were talking about Elizabeth Olsen. <laughs> um, Geekism says, I've just spent at least the last five minutes finding sources and I can't find anything to back up Shante's pronunciation of Macaish. <laughs> Oh, right. I mean, Macaish is obviously not correct, but I think a case could be built because of the way that the word is spelled. If we all band together, Macaish could be in the uh, English Oxford Dictionary by end of this week. Yep. I think. Yep. If we just get it trending on Twitter and have a clip of this stream. Yeah. We could make it work. No, I agree. I agree. Oh, I'm loving to see all these people saying they're going to go and buy mince pies. Of course they are. No! It's going to be fantastic. Mince pies are the worst! Ooh, someone said, Nick, if you could pick any animal to be added to the game, what would you pick? Can I answer that? Can I answer that question? What would I add to the game? Because it won't be a confirmation. <laughs> I'll pick something that's I already think... in there. <laughs> I don't think something's already in I there. I don't know if yeah. No. I refuse to comment. That's so a... want... Look, that's a hard I'm one. Gonna... We... That's, that's a, a really hard, hard question. To answer for us, so we're not going to do that. I would add my dog <laughs> to the game. <laughs> Just my dog. One of my cats. And one of one of, one of cats. One of my cats and your dog. Yes. Yes. How That'd is your dog doing? Fantastic. Fantastic. Your, Although she is the cutest dog you've ever seen. Very cute. Would you like her for ten pounds? She can have her. She's. <laughs> That is a bargain. That is a bargain. <laughs> is no, it that bad? No, she's great. She's just she, she's very, very excited. But I'm looking forward to when she's sort of like one of those old dogs that just sort of chills, just kind of like, mm, just occasionally farts, and you're like, oh, don't worry, our old dog. Old dogs are great. I love old great. dogs. These young dogs, they're too energetic. No, it's because <laughs> she's been in for a little operation recently, so she's been at home and uh, she's been really very cooped up and has a bit of cabin fever. So uh, she's taken to just she's ready to going go. mad. To just All let the rip. Time. Yeah, exactly. Head I think off. she needs to go out, blow off some steam, get a job, start contributing to the family. That's what I say. It's just take, take, take from their dogs. Dog. Dogs with jobs. Yep, you dogs know? get jobs. I think. I think she could be a model. She could. Dog model. She's beautiful. Oh, she is a beautiful dog. She's great. She gets away with a lot, though. She's spoiled. She, well, she's I don't know about spoiled. that. She's, she she's is. not my dog. She is. She's so spoiled. <laughs> this is the Norwegian ice cream shop by mm, F. S. F. Ranger. So, do I have cats, Shante? This is Kit Tracer 7, my, my darling Kit Tracer. Hello, how are you? Um, I don't, but I, I also do. Um, I don't own any myself, but my family at home, who I spent a lot of years living with, they have four at the moment. The max that we had was 13 at one point. Wow. But we had two litters of kittens wow. at that time. That's It was a pretty wild, a wild time. That's a lot of cats. I had a great time. That's too many. No. There's no, there's no such thing. I'm definitely I a know. cat person. I, no, I've got two cats at the moment. Oh, the names? I feel like that. Uh, Josie and Soot. They Interesting. Were, yeah, they were already named before we had them. Did you adopt them? Um, they were adopted, yeah. They were, they were about 10 years old when we adopted them. Oh, amazing. Yes, yeah, so we've got nice old cats and they're lovely. They don't get on with the dog. No, not 30. 13. 30 cats. <laughs> 30 cats. <laughs> no. That's why they call you Shantae 30 cats around the office. <laughs> 30 cats, Shantae. There she goes. There she goes. There she goes with her 30 cats. Are she feedable? <laughs> <laughs> um, how do people do this, says Demi? Crummy says, I thought it looked familiar. I'm Swedish. I'm actually not Swedish. I don't know why I said it like I'm Swedish. <laughs> I said it a bit too excited, like I'm Swedish, but Crummy was saying that Crummy is Swedish. No, it's beautiful. This is lovely, though. Another oh, no, lovely, great. lovely, lovely bit of architecture. It's so much better than, <laughs> than I can ever build. <laughs> I really like the lower level. I'm hoping I get to do another building challenge in the future, in like the charity stream or something, because they are always a deeply stressful experience. <laughs> I don't know if it would, um, if it's a good idea, because you get so, um, 
it's like so focused, mm. you know. Well, we did one with the charity stream with John Laws last time, and no, it wasn't the charity stream. This was the um, the the celebration stream, I believe. Oh, that was that was the celebration stream. Yeah. Yes, and I really enjoyed that. Although I wish I had been wearing a heart monitor for that because <laughs> it was I so think tense. I hit a good three hundred. Sam did it great. Do you remember when he rotated it, that thing, and we were all shocked, and it was like I didn't even know that was possible. Yeah. But of course it's possible. Yeah. But we didn't. Yeah. It didn't even. Very close to what his job is, <laughs> what he was doing there. Just uh, in my defence, he Too had fair. a lot of planning there. I mean, he designed a lot of the pieces he was using. I feel he had some prior. Bye, it's... Captain Kapavo. Whoa, I have five cats, five cats, five horses, six goats, twenty chickens. Oh, I have seven chickens. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> uh, uh, five geese, twenty-one ducks, some goldfish, four rabbits. That is the dream. I That's think... what I want. Oh, hang on. Some goldfish, are they, are they not worthy of counting? An, an, <laughs> an undisclosed <laughs> amount of goldfish. Uh, too many goldfish. A fluctuating Just, <laughs> amount of goldfish. Kit Traces, I'm doing well, Shante. Almost holiday, how are you doing? Same, almost, it's almost Christmas break for it us. It is almost Christmas break for us. It's going to be a lovely. You got anything planned? Do you uh, think crazy? Yes. Uh, Glass yeah, barrier I, I, it's here. It's Christmas at home this year, so it's going to be... Um, it's going to be fantastic. We're just going to have a wild time wild? with the kids. Yeah, it's going to be great. Eating wild mince pies. With the kids. No, no mince pies. I think you should take that off the menu. Mince pie loop. That's uh, <laughs> all we're having. We're just going to have, instead of a turkey, just a, a table of mince pies. Big mince pie and squashed else, just... together <laughs> into the shape of a turkey. <laughs> Stop. Stuffed with more mince pies, coated in brandy and set alight. I don't know Do about that. Do you set that. the pudding on fire? No, I don't, I don't have pudding. But you're missing out on an opportunity to set a thing on fire in your home. That's Pro true. tip to everyone watching the stream. That's true. Don't set fire, things Pro on fire trip. in your home. Definitely Pro do this. So get a get a metal ladle, fill it up with really, really cheap, strong brandy. I don't know set if it this on is... fire in the ladle and then pour it on. This pro tip. On here, with, bit um, of drama. With, uh, bit chef, of drama. That's what, it's all, that's what it's all about. It's very dramatic. Do it with the lights out. Thanks, chef. Um, Good tip. Definitely, in your home. Chef, chef Rogers. We call you around the around the studio. You Absolutely. Know? There goes. Um, there Absolutely. Goes it's a great chef. Trip. Rogers. Learned it off my dad. We've never had an incident. <laughs> um, definitely do it. But at the same time, uh, I'm, I must say, don't watch this stream for fire safety tips. It's all about Planet Zoo and what you can build in it. <laughs> I saw Rudy in the chat. Hello, we're just about to show a Rudy build, but this, I don't know why I said but. Um, oh, Will just got back from the fish and chip shop. Will! Will, how are you? That's nice. Will how you doing, has Will? not come on a on a Planet Zoo stream at all. Has he not? Because he's been on a Planet Coaster stream That's in, unfortunate. In, in months. Months. He just What's doesn't, he, he's too busy, he says. Too busy doing too busy for things Planet Zoo. That are, that, Take up his time. Mm. Why are there only 90 people in the stream? There's not. Yeah, I, I can see Mixer, Twitch, and YouTube. You know, we've got all three. We're seeing chats. Exactly. You're not seeing. You all know? of those things. Big fan We're of all, all over the streaming place. Wait, get back. You oh, need to show this one. This is the miss? realistic Siberian tiger habitat. I know, by it was lovely. Rudy. I think it's boring. Rudy it. And it's got um, a lot of lovely water features going on here. And again, a lovely little. A little pumpkin. stinky object in here. What have we got? Is it another pumpkin? We lost it. There it is. It's another pumpkin. What is it with the pumpkins? Haven't been invited, says Will. Come off it, Will. Will, Will. come on. Come on, mate. Let's Elizabeth do Elizabeth says, a traitor. I don't know if she it's said all... it like that. Yeah. I don't know if she said it with glee, like I, I did. Think, I think she screamed it at, at her <laughs> monitor and then typed it out afterwards. Can we get a statement? <laughs> oh. <laughs> The general election vote on whether you like mince pies or not. <laughs> we can talk about that all night. But Hello, with fight hearts. or flight gamer. Hello. Welcome. Should I move on? How's our time going? I think we're good for How's time. How's my time management been let's, let's, this evening? Let's move on. We're, we've got... We're on this one. We've got room. <clears throat> this we've is got, lovely. What did you say? We've got what? We've got room. room. I don't know why I said room. I meant time. <laughs> Although time is space. I, was, I didn't know like, you were going to start... Woven um, together. Measuring yes. the space yeah, just I to am. check I'm in another room. Nervous that I run out of time. <laughs> this is lovely. This uh, is the Siberian tiger habitat by again. Pawsley. Lovely stinky lovely pumpkin. Uh, at I, the would, of that. I would like to mention so stinky pumpkins. the wonderful Koali Zoo. We have a bunch of um, Koali Zoo makers in the chat. So we've got um, Delady, Rudy, Silv, oh, and uh, Mike. 
wonderful, wonderful creators. You can check that series out on YouTube. They've released the first episode. Sylve made the most magnificent entrance. Oh my Obviously. goodness, it was amazing. Um, definitely check it out. Very much the original crew, those guys, and very the much OGs. Part, part of the team. Part of the ship, part, part of the, the crew. Team, part of the family. Love it when those guys rock up <laughs> and we get to go out for drinks. Um, the animal animations are amazing, Nick. Thanks, your team, for us. Thank you very much. I'll be passing all that on to the team. They are an amazing bunch and they, they, they did me very proud on this project. How proud? Super proud. But on the 100 scale? 100 times proud. Oh. Yes. That's a lot. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm more proud of my team than a, your a kids. shark is. <laughs> and they're pretty serious. Pretty serious business. A shark? Mm. Are they serious business? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They, that's why they, they have, have their a whole own week. week. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. True. What other animals have a week? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Not the macaque, not the macaque. <laughs> uh, what is this? The Holy Planet Quartet. You've I've moved, moved, moved on. on. I just moved right on. This I just, is um, the I'm, Snow Leopard should never have Nepalese Habitat by Geekism. Oh, it is Nepalese. Check this out. Oh, Geekism. So, I've been watching Geekism's little. Can I, I, can I shout out? You can. I'll tell show. a story. Very quickly, you, you, shout out to Geekism because I really enjoy watching his building. Geekism's in the chat. Have you been watching his. Um, I his like his pimp, pimp. my. Yeah. Yeah, because I watch that and then as soon as he does something in the thing, I'm like, oh, I would never put a tree under the ground. And, like, and, <laughs> and, it, and I'm like, how is he doing this? How is he doing this? And yeah. You're bound by constraints you put on yourself. I know. Geekism I know. That, I'm you know? like, but the rules. I can't break the rules. <laughs> And 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 uh, and and it jumps us like the rules mean nothing to me. I'm throwing them out. <laughs> Geekers and raised an absolutely fantastic amount of money for Toronto Zoo, I believe. Oh, nice Toronto. One. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Um, but absolutely great stream, John T. It was, it was very good. Oh, nice one. Um, this is gorgeous. This is again. Oh, I was going to tell my story. Oh, yes, so, please do. I had to do some some. Planko, you know, you know the language of, mm -hmm. of Planet Coast and Planet Zoo, the wonderful Planko created by uh, James Stant, uh, yep. the godfather of Planko, Bo calls him. What yep. do you call him? I call him James Stant. Well, it's, it's not, it doesn't have the same ring to it, you know? Yep. It doesn't, I think, around the office, we call him the godfather of Planko. I call J him, and then I comma, call him, mm. James Stant, you know? I call I actually, him there's no comma because uh, that wouldn't make senior sense. Senior audio designer, James Stant, is, uh, is why. I, I haven't, I've never called him that, actually. Do you know my James Stant? Have you got a story? Uh, I've got, I, I've got a, uh, a little story. Um, <laughs> me and James Stant were in the same band before, both before we worked at Frontier. Really? But not at the same time. Because we were both talking about bands that were in the other day, <laughs> and he was talking about his thing, and I was like, hold on, was your band called this? And it's like, yeah, was my band. I was like, I was in the band. Like, Here's the band. And it turned out when I left the band, the they, bass player became him. the lead guitarist and he became the bass player in that band. So he took over another, and then he left that company and came and joined Frontier. And now Hang we're working together. When place. was the band in its prime? With you or with James? With. <laughs> we had an EP when I was in it, just saying. Oh, Very Geekism famous. says, uh, yeah, Toronto Zoo and Ohio, uh, <laughs> sorry, Ohio Animal Park, we raised over $3,000. That's serious money. Is That's it, shark is it money, Canadian? Right? Well, is it Canadian dollars? Dollars? Doesn't matter. Absolutely fantastic amount of money. It's different these days. Um, that's okay. <laughs> so I wanted to share my story uh, before we told another story. I had a story. Um, I'm getting distracted by the chat. I, I one completely time band derailed you. Um, so the other day I had to, do, well, not the other day, it was actually yesterday, I had to do some Planko voice sessions. If you don't know, I play like, I think it's Teen Girl 3 or something in this game. I genuinely have no idea. Best I, I'm teen, <laughs> I'm the best teen girl. I uh, don't have a number because I'm the best. Um, but we were all given some lines that um, James, who, who thought, you know, he's got, to, he's got to write the lines in Planko, he thought that we would actually say in real life. So one of them that I had to say was, headphones with this hair, something I would say, because I say it every time somebody gives me headphones. Yeah. Um, but I had to say, I have a super mentor, which is very true. Mentor in Planko is Beau Mavri. Very nice. For the very lovely nice. Beau de Vries, my, our be, wonderful mentor. To be written into the language of the game. 
I'm the best. Fantastic. <laughs> it's good. It's a confident live stream. I I was I was I was That's like really I good. need to tell her this. This is absolutely fantastic. Now I'm just trying to imagine what you do with headphones with that. I hair. do my best, no. you know. Yeah. I can't there's not much I can do. Yes. Apart from my best. Well that's that's and that's all you really can do. In I'm, life, really, you I'm know? struggling with my hair today. I can't get it to stay Go up. up. I have I, sorry. gel. Yeah. Money. I had a name for it, but then I thought I don't know if I can say it. It's not rude. <laughs> I don't know. So I, I don't know if you should say it if if you don't know because I don't know what it is. Hair erectile dysfunction. <laughs> Let's that move on. Let's move on to the Moving next one. Moving swiftly on. Is this, this a is train? the snow leopard habitat with train? temperature retaining roof by Paulsley as well. This is good. This is lovely. This reminds me of an aircraft hangar. <laughs> that's, that's just what came to my mind when we're, I saw We're taking it. off, you know. But um, no, this is this is oh, I love the little cave. I'm looking for the stinky pumpkin. I want to see if it's in here. Possibly, where's the stinky pumpkin? No stinky pumpkin. Zero out of ten. No, no, it's it's lovely. <laughs> there must be one. There must be one. Oh, you can go behind the waterfall, just like in Sonic the Hedgehog on the other guy. <laughs> that was a huge feature back then. Think how little attention Do you this gets when, now. Um, that was huge. There was when a, it came a very out. viral tweet that said, "If you put a waterfall in game and you put nothing behind it, you're a terrible person." Uh, I didn't see that, but I agree with it wholeheartedly. <laughs> I think something's always got to be behind a waterfall, I and mean, that's that's a place that you should always put like a secret. Like, a, like yeah, like a treasure. Like I would be out there trying to find some sort of little extra bit, something that's probably going to get me some cheeves <laughs> if I see it. <laughs> it's here. It's space needs. No, Can I put one no down? Stinky pumpkin. No. No, okay, I won't put one down. Not I don't want to start Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't want to start messing with that. But yeah, again, absolutely lovely. Stinky absolutely pumpkins are taking lovely. over oh, Planet Zoo. Lovely viewing um, area in here. Great like views. Can, I really oh, like so these floating. Um, this is where you can run the path down, yeah. you see. Too um, clean for it to be realistic, says Chromie. Oh, yeah, there should always exactly. be secrets behind waterfalls, says 8 bit Josh. Absolutely. No, I think you're absolutely right. Is there a secret behind the waterfall? Let's I don't think so. Look. You went behind there. I had there. a little look, but I wasn't looking for secrets. Yeah, you did. You did. Oh, <laughs> see, I would put a stinky pumpkin right here and be like, told you there was a stinky pumpkin. There's a stinky pumpkin. Bart Voss, another fine animator from the animation team, absolutely. joined us during Planet Zoo. This is his first video game that's worked on. I mean, what? What a what, feat. What a feat, what an entry level <laughs> to go into the games industry. I was like, boom, do you want to do a million animal animations? Right? <laughs> yeah, straight away, straight in. This is the Timber Wolf Habitat by King K, Bibi. Bibi, or Baby. Baby. But I think it's actually Bibi and not Baby, but it could be Baby. Bibi. And Bibi is slang for Baby, if you don't know. Baby. It is. I know, I know, I know all these things. I'm, I, I don't I'm know if you know. Very you know. Young. I need to. I need to keep you updated in case you don't know. I use lots of words like lit and dank. Dank, uh, one that I personally don't use, but glad to know that you do. Someone the other day, I helped them with something, they said, thank you very much, you are Bay, spelled B-A-E. And I, Bay. I thought they meant the engineering company, <laughs> um, <laughs> B-A-E Systems. I say a lot of Gucci, I said that's Gucci. Is that a thing? I what, say is it the like, time. like the fashion designer Gucci? Yeah, that's Gucci. I've never heard that. And then the best part is getting my fellow co workers to say. So, Bo, big fan of Gucci. And Paul, if you don't know Paul, a wonderful, wonderful CM, works on Planet Zoo as well. Um, not someone you'd expect to say Gucci, but he really took to it once I started saying it. He started saying it, it was very strange. I started saying yeet a lot. Yeet, love that one. Because that's really good. I mean, Everyone's happy to hear it when I say it. Like a nice yeet. Yes, I I'm, hope I'm, one I've had day. A good yeet. I hope to and I hope to name an animation sort yeet. of like character. Yeet, yeet. it's got to be, a... be a. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's move right, on. Let's move We've got on. the last one. I'm going the wrong way. I, just, oh, <laughs> I get confused. I, Our last well, mine was one taking for up. two days. Wonderful. That was a very, very Gucci. Long. Very, yeah. very Gucci. We're going to wrap this up. That heard it here Tres first. Gucci. Uh, this is Wolf of Paradise oh. by Snake Eyes, my favourite. Um, Snake Eyes. My favourite dice roll, of course. Yep. The, uh, favorite. the The old Snake Eyes. My Don't really know uh, what it does. Two fat ladies. That's my favourite. Is that not a bingo term? Is that I think actually... it's applicable. I've never heard that. If you have an eight-sided dice and two I've of never them. heard anyone say that for dice. I've heard Same Snake Eyes. I've never heard anyone say Gucci. Before, so we're all learning from each other. Oh, 
<laughs> learning a great deal. It's called macaques. Look at these guys. You don't even need real animals. We've got these uh, statues of animals. If right I went here. to a zoo mm -hmm. and they were like, here, here are the wolves, <laughs> and I saw these, I'd be like, because we're so far away. They like, don't late, Charlie. We got your money. <laughs> and they would just they would get, <laughs> get out and then suddenly the whole zoo would pack up into a, into a van and they'd drive you know? off. Yeah, that would be very. Oh, that would be good. That would be good. A false zoo. That's very much what. Madame Two Swords is, isn't it? It's a like a false works, works. prosthetic zoo. <laughs> you can't you can't actually meet these celebs. Well I went to So meet um, these weird smelling versions of them like candles. I went to the Natural History Museum in Did uh, you? in New York and that is like a that is like an ode to taxidermy. If you wanted to see dead versions of all no, your favourite no, animals, no. that's the place to go. It is <laughs> It must be so haunted. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, OG, stick to zoos, keep them alive. I don't know what Tigglesaurus is talking about, and I'm not sure if I want to hear what's infectious. Um, a lot of things are infectious. Oh, I don't know if I want to hear it. Th those, wolf <laughs> those wolves' sculptures are truly magnificent. They Lorenzo. are magnificent. Yeah, they I are agree. lovely. Wonderful I love the sculptures team. in this game. They are beautiful. 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 Again. Beautiful. beautiful. All different Wait, styles. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, what's this? Ball. I thought, I thought it was a mine. <laughs> like an old World War II mine. I just popped in there. Why would that be in there? I've been playing a lot of COD recently. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, uh, it's causing me troubles. <laughs> is it keeping you up? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. But I, this is, no, no, no this is, this that, is wonderful. You know? No, this is wonderful. This, oh, is, yeah, a, this is a lovely, this is a lovely, <clears throat> lovely thing. Um, what's this? It's a bush. A cowberry bush. Uh, my typos are infectious. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, that's that's yeah. okay. That's yeah. that's acceptable in the <laughs> chat. Otherwise, maybe a ban. Mm -hmm. Just saying, you never know. You know. Please sneeze, Shante. Do you, do you have a funny sneeze? I don't think so. Oh, I thought that'd be a great thing. To I find can't out. do it on on cue. It's why have I got a sneeze? Don't you? Have you ever? <laughs> You know, not want people who can stare into a light and it makes them sneeze. No, I do. I can't. It won't just... If I stare into a light, it doesn't just happen. I need to have the... You know you feel the sneeze building. Okay. I, there's a song that I really love and it's called The Sneeze. And they talk about a disease that's passed through a sneeze. Um, don't know why that popped into my head. Who's um, writing these songs? <laughs> um, I can sneeze if I feel it building and I look into a light. But I can't just sneeze. It's not, it's not one of those skills. I haven't been trained as an actor to sneeze on I cue. See. So if if you pay for the acting classes, and then in the chat, maybe a couple of months down the line, you say. Yeah. So we have we have two animators on our team, and one one has like a scream sneeze, and one has a little tiny sneeze like a woodland animal. And it's very funny when they both sneeze. Wait, do the impression of And then the other one is like, a, it's like, oh, like that sort of thing. And, and, and you're like, your ears ring, and you're like, oh, someone's, what's happening? <laughs> And it was just a sneeze. That's good. I think uh, I think the older you get, the louder your sneezes get until it becomes... Like a proper dad sneeze. Mm. Yeah, yeah. My dad has a lot of guitars and every time he sneezes, all the guitars ring. And then he's like, char, and they go... <laughs> a little harmonic. Right. It's good. Outer headphone users everywhere. Nick, why have you done that? You've ruined, you've ruined people's earlobes by your... Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't mean to... I, I, that's how it feels. I was trying to make you feel... How I feel. In, involved, you know. We're trying to give you the sneeze. Shout out to the big sneezers out there. The, the, and sne the, the sneezers. Doing. Planet Zoo stream, it's about sneezing. That's yep. just how it goes, you know. The wind blows, the way it blows, that's how the stream goes. Yeah, well, the, uh, the, the panda sneezes, I think. I'm sure we made a panda sneeze at some point during the development of this. <gasps> he sneezed. Spoilers. I can't remember what this is in reference to. I know I've said something about sneezing in the Discord, but I can't remember what it means. And I was thinking maybe it meant something that I have on my nose. Oh, I just got right. Discord. I just got Discord. You're, all, you're so hip. When I signed into it, I saw that That's I was dead. already in the Planet Coast, the Planet Zoo group, so I don't know how it happened. But I'm going to get in now. I'm going to say hi. You're going to say hi? Mm-hmm. Is this to the ladies? you got you got to join... Uh, you to, got... to, to all the ladies, I'm going to say. <laughs> to all the ladies? No, no, I'm going to say hi um, in the... Just, just in the, the one? Just, just to... Who knows how many... Who, who's in to, that? To Have anyone that will listen. I don't, I, don't, I don't really understand <laughs> Discord, but once I've got my head around it, I'll be right in there. Once you right wrap there. your head around, you'll be on it. You'll yep. know. Yeah. When you know, you'll know, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be right in there. So we're coming out to the end of the stream. 
I just wanted to give a massive shout out to the wonderful guests I've had on today, mm -hmm. Head of Animation Nick Rogers. How has your time been? I've loved it. It's really gone past very quickly. It has, I've enjoyed it? it and uh, I hope everyone else has enjoyed it. I had a wonderful <laughs> time. Um, update 1.1.0 on the 17th of December, very, very soon next Tuesday. It's coming with a bunch of stuff, slow animal aging. We have uh, immediate families uh, displayed on uh, your information panels for your animals, animal pack behavior, new heat maps, improved social behaviors, news feed, management updates, the Aurora Borealis looks incredible, an ice cream costume and more creativity. Uh, if, you haven't, if you haven't seen you wanna... the, the full list already, check it out on the forums. This will also come with a huge number of gameplay tweaks and bug fixes. Uh, as I said, check it out on the forums. It's really good to read, just so you know. Um, but still waiting for your sneeze, Shade. I don't think it's coming. I don't think it's coming, guys. Uh, sorry today. about it. I can't do it on cue. Um, <laughs> but I want to say thank you very much for joining us today. We'll be back next Wednesday for a planet party. Whoop, whoop. Ooh. Ooh, whoop, whoop. That's why Ooh. we need a soundboard. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, can't have a party without a soundboard. Um, but I'm going to leave, leave uh, you here, everyone. I just got sent this really interesting screenshot, so I'm just going to show you all. Uh, and we're just going to say bye. Oh, Silver Fox says hello. But we're leaving, so... Bye, everyone. I'm going to point to this here. Thanks for joining us. Because people do this on the streams. Bye. Check it out down here.